What's up guys, Frank Castle Gaming here, aka Born to Kill You 31 with some basic siege tips. These are just general tips to help you improve your gameplay. First thing is deployable shields. Now these things have a bad rep in siege. Not a lot of people like them. They prefer barbed wire or nitro cells or impacts. But deployable shields can be great. They can give you great vantage points. They're completely bulletproof. A bullet will not penetrate you know, a deployable shield. Yes, they can get ashed and blown up and everything, but that's what Yanker devices are for, uh, to protect that. So this is a great example here where you can set up a nice defensive position on the hatch. Typically, my whole body would be exposed and I'd be completely vulnerable to getting killed, but this shield gives me nice cover to be able to hold an angle on the hatch and fight back. I've gotten lots of kills from here before, not in this clip, but this is just a great way of just showing how shields can give you, you know, they're not only good for frost traps, they're, they're really good for holding angles and stuff too. Uh, so I'd like to see more people, uh, you know, use shields and complain less about when I pick them because I like my shields. This is a really great tip here, break the glass, okay? Now, I don't think this is well known, but the glass on the windows in this game is the only thing that's barricading the sound. So if you want to sound whore, like I just have a PlayStation Gold headset, but it works wonders when you're in game chat. Now, in this here, we were in party chat. I was in a party, we were in a private game, so the sound's a little bit distorted because this is all coming through party audio, which, you know, um, reduces the in-game sound a little bit. Now the point I'm trying to make here is enemies that repel, if the glass is broken, the sound is barricaded, it, it, it's muffled, it's much more quiet. So this is a prime example, the glass is still intact but the boards are open. I can barely hear ash repelling on the outside but once I break the glass, it's clear as day, I can tell they're repelling. So what I advise people to do if you're defending a room with windows and you want to be able to sound for it, Take your pistol out, shoot the windows until you break the glass, okay? You don't need to make a hole in the window, you don't need to punch it so that they have a peak hole, but you just want to break the glass and then the sounds will come right through. The next one is pre-breaking runouts, okay? Basically what this is, is if you're in an area where, you know, running out of certain windows is a great option or shooting from certain windows is a great option, break them out before, um, you know, while the prep phase is going on. So if this door is open, in this map, people aren't going to want to repel because they say, oh, the door's open. Like, you know, they can't set up a claymore because they'll be afraid if they go to the door and they put the claymore down, they're going to get shot. The same thing with that window. That window, you know, watches that outside repel. So you, you want to set those up um, in the prep phase. And in this one, I'm just punching these windows out because these windows give you a nice crossfire for anybody repelling um, on the kids' dorms. And even though I'm not staying here, right, because as soon as I hit that window, it's a red flag, people look to it. So I open it up, and then people might look at it and say, hey, there might be a guy there, there might not be. And then if you go back here and you need to make the shot, you're not opening the window, so you're not making any sound, and you can just run there, pick somebody off, and run back. This tip is crucial. Do not reload, okay? People have this Call of Duty mentality where they shoot one bullet, and then they need to put a fresh clip in their mag. Drives me up the wall. This is an example of how many bullets you need to kill somebody. My buddy has four bullets left in his clip, and he still gets the kill. You know, you can get the job done with one bullet. So just because you spray half your clip in a firefight doesn't mean you need to put a fresh mag in. Finish the firefight, and then put the next mag in, okay? You know, I've seen people shoot, you know, 10, 15, 20 bullets out of a machine gun that holds 150 bullets, and then reload a fresh bunch of bullets. Why? You still have 100 bullets, you know? This is another prime example here, you know, if I reloaded after downing IQ, I wouldn't have gotten that damage and I wouldn't have been able to pull the secondary out and being able to take them out. So try not to reload after every time you shoot, okay? Like if you have 15 bullets left, you can still pull off the job. The next one here is tap the trigger. Now this is kind of the same thing, it's all about bullet conservation, okay? There's a big difference when you spray the trigger, if you're holding down the trigger, you get a lot more recoil, a lot more muzzle climb, especially if you're moving when you're shooting. You know, tapping that trigger and trigger discipline in this game can make for a very effective player. You know, if you're tapping the trigger when you're when you're moving, when you're trying to shoot, um, your your shots are more likely to to line up and and uh, land where you want them. And you're also not going to go through your clip as fast and then have to change a clip. You know. 
The next one here is staying quiet when you're roaming, okay? A lot of people don't realize that small motions, if you're hiding or like roaming in a corner, you know, if you're hiding in a corner, if you're roaming and you're trying to be very stealthy, small motions, such as pivoting, you know, switching weapons, reloading, even aiming your gun, that all makes noise. And it's, you can you can hear it. If you're, if you're sound whoring and, you know, you've got a good headset, you can hear all those little movements, especially aiming. So if you're, if you're roaming, you want to get, you want to start aiming, you know, before you approach the enemy. If that's, if that's the tactic you're going to take, if you want to aim, right? You want to aim before you get within the sound. The other one here is pay attention to barricades. Now, some people think this is obvious, but I know a lot of people probably don't really recognize this. Now, this isn't something you have to do with your character. It's something you can do while you're droning too. So if you're looking for roamers and stuff, right, and you notice a barricade's been put up, take note of what side the barricade's on, right? So if somebody barricades it from the inside, the yellow stripes on the sides, if you notice, they're going to be on the inside of the door. And then when you look, you can see the barricade is deployed on the inside of the door. That means somebody reinforced it or barricaded it from the inside versus barricading from the outside. It looks like this, you know, somebody... In this scenario, you know somebody left the room and put the barricade up. So this, here's some screenshots just to clarify, but this can be really effective on maps like Bank when you have a roamer going up and like if they barricade that janitor's closet, you can tell if they're inside of it, the barricade will be on the the inside. And if they're on the outside of it, vice versa, you know. So it's a good way to kind of help track people. Now we have communication, which is fairly obvious, but super broad, okay? If you're playing this game, you should have a microphone. That's my opinion. You should be communicating with your team, especially if you want to play ranked. Now, the tip there was count out the drones. So if you're defending, you know they have five drones going at you, and their drones are their intel for everything. They can tell where mirrors are put. They can tell where, you know, uh, C4s are placed, bear traps, all that stuff. So you want to take them out, and as I take them out, I count. So if I take out one, I say one. My teammate takes one out, they say two. You know all the way to five because we know there's five counting out the drones is super important because using drones for using drones properly and gaining intel can change the change the tide in a battle for sure same thing with cameras you know defensive cameras and everything um this is a prime example here you know using the black eye cameras and everything um the best thing is to have a dead person spectate the drones or the cameras not so much a live person don't spectate your teammates. You're not helping them really by watching them do what they do. Uh, use the com use your comms and try not to mark so you don't give away you know drone positions or cameras. Um, that being said, when you're attacking, make sure you set up the drones like cameras. You know you don't want to just run them into the objective and get muted or destroyed. They are super tactical if you set them up in a certain place. You know like uh, in this room, if you put one in the security room, you can tell if a roamer's in there. You know having uh, knowledge as to enemy position is is super important so you know you want to use all your assets as best you can all right guys thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed i hope you learned something um leave me a comment if you have any other tips that you want to see in a video or that i might have left out thanks for watching guys